join this center stage. Please, I see can I just request you to be center stage here with us? Thank you. And now I'm going to please request a lovely lady, Shaina NC, for the opening remarks. Four o'clock on a Friday to see so many Mumbaikars is a huge round of applause for all of you. At the outset, I have to thank the incredible Taj group. When you say she remains with Taj, I'd just like to alter and say she remains with the Taj always. Thank you, Puneet Chatwal, Renu Basu, the incredible team. I know they don't want me to mention these youngsters who have put together this entire event, but Ashta, Tarka, all of you all have been so wonderful. I think a huge round of applause first for Taj. You know, a lot of people ask, why glamour for a cause? And I just say, you come to a fashion show, you look at anorexic models, and you wonder what you've gone home with. This is glamour with a cause because you see wonderful women achievers from varied walks of life. And today we have 35 of them, all age groups, all sizes, all backgrounds. My appeal to every single person here is please applaud for them. Applaud for them in totality because they come, they give of themselves and 20% of all the proceeds we are donating to WeCare Foundation. My dear friend Seema Singh, who runs a cervical cancer movement with Megha Shreya, I'd like to thank her. And of course, our chief guests are also on the way, who you will see. But since it's a houseful, I only thought it's befitting to start with a meaningful kind of comment. And Puniji, if you allow me, I received this letter. There was a letter which came from a cancer survivor and this is what she wrote. May I request the ladies? You all have seen yourselves enough. You are all looking lovely. This is really meaningful, so that's why I want to read it out. I got this letter which says, five years ago, I won my battle with ovarian cancer. One of the side effects of my treatment was losing all my hair. I didn't want to wear wigs, so a very dear friend of mine from the US sent me the Miracle Chemo Caps. These not only help me feel normal, but also help protect me from the heat, the cold, and all dire circumstances. I kept being asked by other patients, where did you get this from? And with a close family friend, I copied these. I have made them with the hope that each needy, ill, and cancer survivor realizes that we are there for them. It's small tokens like this that make sure that the dedication and drive will continue. So I'm going to request Puneet Chatwalji to please present these caps on behalf of all of us to Cancer, We Care Cancer Society. Ankita is one of their volunteers and I request Renu and Seema Ji, please if all of you all can present it. Step in the room, yeah, I see you move, Surely you see can clap you louder. You know you and I will also request for a small felicitation, Seema Ji, if you can. Sia Segal is an 18-year-old girl, a social entrepreneur who has been working with the transgender community in India. She has worked so brilliantly. She's got into Stanford, Brown, Georgetown, and is now going to be requested to take up the cause of cancer awareness in the transgender community. May I request you to please felicitate her with a certificate of appreciation. And now I'll request Puneet Ji to say a few words. Thank you, Shaina Ji. Good afternoon, everyone. Wonderful to see all of you here. Uh, we are very proud and honored uh, to have this opportunity uh, to host all of you, and this started as She is the Taj, 
uh, 11 years ago. And last year, we decided to relaunch it as She Remains the Taj because the Taj is very committed to the cause of diversity and inclusion. And um, I have been told, because I joined five and a half years ago, it's the she that influences the decision at home on the he to use the Taj. So I find it very nice, although I have to say when I entered the room, I was very nervous. If the other side needs diversity, because there's hardly any men around here, right? <laughs> So definitely, I, I look forward to the event. And uh, thank you for having us. And thank you for reading out that letter. These are small, small things that make a difference. This hotel, for the last 15 years, serves every day almost 500 lunches to the cancer hospital uh, for the not only the patients, um, the doctors, and also the relatives of the patients is something that has been going on. On the 28th of February, we hosted 1,000 cancer doctors in the lawns of this hotel. Yeah. And uh, just to celebrate the work that they do, and I'm sure all of you read, as we belong to the Tata Group, the kind of work Tata Group is doing in the Northeast in building uh, cancer hospitals. But today is the day of celebrating, as a wonderful um, MC said, the fearless, the bold, the one who tries to reach the stars. And so let's look forward to that instead of me making big speeches. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. If I can just add very briefly, we're very happy to have the men in a minority today. And I hope it's the same in Parliament eventually. <laughs> Having said that, I'm going to request Renu ji and Seema ji to just very briefly address us. And I'm going to request the audience. You have to clap for every single woman achiever irrespective of who she is, whether you know her or not, because I think we women really don't appreciate ourselves the way we should. Sorry, after listening to the last comment, I was tempted to say, in the parliament like this, then that day we will have Sapka Saad, Sapka Vikas. <laughs> Thank you, Shaina. Um, I, I don't like to say much, but I have to say one thing about the company that I belonged to. And I still belong because I still remain the Taj. But the thing is the, the empowerment our company gave us when we started working 37 years ago also says a lot about the company that in whose uh, premises we are sitting today. And the, uh, the Taj has been very, very empowering, inclusive. And of course, the journey is to move higher and aim higher to have greater inclusion from all sides. So that's all I want to say. Thank you so much. China for the opportunity. Good evening, everyone. Very first, I would like to say thank you to Saina Ji for inviting me today for such a noble cause, cause for a walk for a cause. Or, as Saina Ji, who is working for cancer, ke liye, hamesa ye support her. Or, this cause is very close to my heart because I am working on Cancer Free India. Ke upar kaam kar rahi hun. And Saina Ji, ke baare mein, jitna baat bolu, utna kam hai because she's playing so many roles together and she's so perfect and she's inspiration for all of us. And uh, I would like to uh, wish best of luck to be Foundation Cancer. Jo aap kaam kar rahe, uske liye meri bohat sari sub kamna hai aapke saath. Aur aaj jo log bhi is cause ko support kar rahe, jo log walk kar rahe hai, wo log na model nahi, they all are role models for all of us, because they are very big achievers in their field, whether they are doctors or advocates. So last time, I will say a lot of best wishes. And thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you very much, Seema Singh Ji, Renu Ji, Puneet Sir, and Shaina. Ladies and gentlemen, this is truly the moment we were all waiting for. A humble thanks to our jewelry designer. Thank you so much, I know. You're eager to meet all of them, our lovely ladies from all walks of life. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, it's time for all of them to rule the runway. This evening is truly the evening we were all waiting for. She remains the Taj. Presenting Walk for a Cause by the one and only Shaina NC. Look at the Nicola, 
multifaceted lady Gauri Daya a successful banker a talented singer who's now dedicated her life to a world of spirituality and mankind Gauri aspires to spread the knowledge of Vedanta to all please let us join our hands together for Gauri Daya in association with the Chinmaya Mission and ISKCON, she conducts lectures not only at schools and auditoriums, but also for senior citizens at old age homes. Keep the cheers coming in as we announce the entrance of one of India's leading nutritionists, Anjali Mukherjee, the pioneer of the natural healthcare movement in India, using food as a medicine. Anjali has been a columnist with Bombay Times and the Hindustan Times for over 25 years. We now present to you Anjali Mukherjee, no, a well-known and sought-after ambassador speaking on women's health, lifestyle diseases. She is Anjali Mukherjee, president of India's finest 